Hello, and welcome to Kicking and Crocs, the podcast, where we talk about martial arts stuff, geeky stuff, and all sorts of stuff. My name is Steve, one half of Kicking and Crocs. Dave, the other half of Kicking and Crocs. Nick, still not a half of Kicking and Crocs. And Nick is back. Woo! What's up, guys? Got it, Nick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for this one, guys, I'm going to be honest, it's late, we're tired, so we're going to just keep this off the rails, just spouting nonsense, so if we go off on tangents, bear with us, but we do have one story to talk about, is, as we mentioned on last podcast, our good friend Dave here, he just ran the Disney Marathon That's this right. past weekend. I, I ran the Disney Marathon, I ran, uh, admittedly, slower than we normally do, um, coming off a broken toe, like we mentioned before, yeah. but uh, yes, I was down at Disney, uh, running the Disney Marathon, it was a lot of fun. Took me a lot of time, but my wife and I did finish it. But um, I do have an, a, a croc related airplane story. You, you mentioned like, that, and I said, like wait, 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 wait for the podcast. Wait for the podcast. So now that we are here at the podcast, I'd like to let's hear up. it. Okay. So um, obviously, I'm flying to Disney, so I have to have the perfect Disney croc, which is my, I call it my Ohana croc. Okay, so like if everybody's ever seen Lilo and Stitch, it's got the red hibiscus flowers, and I got my little Stitch right there. Oh, then no. actually, you got me this Stitch. I did yes. have the Stitch when I got so, you. So my wife and I booked the tickets. We booked them the bottom level, like, you know, what's after, like, economy. Like... <laughs> Next to the chicken. Like, yeah, there should have been a chicken the... running across the plane, so... <laughs> Chewbacca sounds. Makes sense. <laughs> so... There's those Chewbacca sounds. <laughs> so the joke with the Chewbacca sounds before we started, Nick went to move and he sounded like a Chewbacca old man. At this, at this age, <laughs> that tends to happen. You just kind of <laughs> yourself into position. Dave's got a great Chewbacca. He'll show no, us later. No, I don't. That's I don't a have a good Chewbacca. One. My cousin has a really good Chewbacca, but me, I don't. Yours sounds like um, <laughs> like um, like a Chiquita <laughs> banana. Like, <laughs> sticker. You hit it. You hit the nail on the head. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, a, like, right. like the tr- yeah, the banana should, sticker. Yeah, you okay, have so that on your head, the banana. So, Anyways. wife and I, <laughs> cheap plane tickets. Um, so when we booked, she's sitting behind me. We're not even sitting next to each other. So she's sitting behind me in a center seat, and I'm in a center seat, um, in front of her. She gets normal people next to her, which is really cool for her because she gets to sleep and read and do whatever people do on planes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't. Older lady next to me, much like Steve. Um, what? I'm just <laughs> so I have an older lady next to me, very pleasant. And then on the right side, the window seat, I have, she's got to be maybe 20, 21, and friendly girl, very talkative, a uh, little weird. Steve, get into character. You're the old person. I'm the young. L- little, person. little weird. Oh wait, no, it's an old lady. He said, right? Like oh, yeah, an old man the older lady. I don't know if I could do an old lady voice. We'll just go with it. <laughs> okay. So she's talking. We talk for a little bit. I'm like, okay, whatever. I gotta go. I'm gonna take a little nap. So I start to close my eyes and I wander off into a little sleepy zone. Oh no. And then I, I start to drift off. And I just I open my one eye. I just open my one eye, and she's leaned over. With her cell phone open to Snapchat, taking a picture. Like this? Like that, of my croc. Oh, like, oh, oh, that's not creepy at all. Wow. Dead on. So so I wake up to a girl bent over here this with is her the, phone. The young girl. The younger girl. Okay, I was just Pointed saying, with Snapchat open. She's sending a Snapchat picture of my Ohana crocs. Like zoomed in the whole nine. So I, like, I open my eyes. I'm like, I look at them like, they're cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did Kelsey I sneak totally, the divorce papers between I the I totally b- busted chairs. her though. <laughs> I totally busted her because she was like, you know, you try and take those sneaky snaps when nobody's looking. Oh, oh man, all she had a phone in, in pure, like open sight. I could see, I could see who she was snapping. <laughs> now, <I'm> here, like, <laughs> did, what was her reaction to your discovery? Like, did she? She, like, po- she went right into like, oh, they are cool. <laughs> Who's that guy? And she's like. Is that the guy from that movie with the alien? And I'm like, Stitch, that's Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. And she's like, oh, okay, cool. And then she took a picture. Were she took like, it. She, she took the Snapchat. After all that, she still took after the Snapchat. After all that, she still took the Snapchat and sent it to whoever she was sending you it to. You know, Stitch <laughs> and his best friend, Personal Space? <laughs> that would be a good line. <laughs> that would But it great. was pretty, I thought it was pretty funny because normally I'm the people, I'm the person that's like sneaking the Snap. And I don't get caught. But this time you're getting snuck on. Because I got that, I got that martial arts skill. I don't get caught. Oh um, no, no. But she got, she got busted. 
Do you have a friend of mine who used to like to uh, drop into people's pictures, right? So photo bomb, like a photo bomb. Yeah, yeah, that was his big thing. But I've never had someone just try to randomly take a picture of my feet while sleeping. That's a new and, one. And she waited till I was like eyes closed to lean completely over the seat. I'm like, whoa. I've yeah. never had that happen before. He's Nobody's like, ever. Um, it, was hey pretty, it was a pretty interesting. Well, listen, you can encounter. take that back home and say, "Listen, honey, <laughs> uh, to to Kelsey, like, look, 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 what a lucky cat you have. I've got ladies <laughs> taking people pictures of my to feet, take pictures of my Crocs on Kelsey. the plane. Like, Crocs I are great. Like, you know what? You know what? It surprised me too is not more people wear like Crocs at airports because, like, you're going through the security, I have a slide of my shoes off. Oh Where yeah, there's, go? yeah, and there's easy people untying it. sneakers, and and I don't understand. Way easier with Crocs. The way Crocs is the way to go. Crocs. So when I was down there, I took like took um took a picture kicking. If you guys saw it on Instagram, if you follow us on Instagram at Kicking and Crocs, that's nice right. Kick. I took a picture kicking. Well, I still could because then after the race, there's no there's no way you're gonna happening. kick after taking the race. No, that was the race itself. Um, long. <laughs> 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 no, the race is good. Disney's a cool marathon because it's one of the only ones where like. People are literally pulling off to the sides of the road to take pictures of the characters because it's all lined up. So you're at mile like 16 and people are getting on a half an hour line to take a picture with one of the Disney characters, cool. which is neat because you don't feel that pressure like, oh, I got to make this a certain time. I got to finish. Um, so that's always fun. And they do a good job like sending off fireworks and, and, and uh, at the start of everything. And there's always something to see. So that's good. Oh, yeah. And they let spectators in. So if you're running like... You run down Main Street underneath the castle. There's spectators lining both sides. So that's always a fun time. And then um, the woman that won it, though. So the the freaky people that could actually win these things. <laughs> right. So if you look up the girl that, run, that won it, she did it in like three hours. And she had a broken uh, back seven months ago. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. A she broke her back, back. seven so months for ago. For those of us that aren't runners, right? So how much... How far is this? Right, twenty six point two miles. Twenty six point two miles. I and get tired driving. Forty something, forty eight something, forty two k. I don't know. Don't ask me that. People yeah, know it. Like, I don't know it. Yeah. Um. Still, that's a far run. It's a that's far a run. Long time. And this, the woman that won, the woman that awesome. won did it. She broke it back in like a triathlon like seven months ago, and somehow came out and won this thing. Wow, that's incredible. You hear stories like that all the time. Yeah. Like about people that that did this with this broken bone, or people that did this after coming off of this sickness or this yeah. problem. Yeah, and I'm I'm whining about a broken toe. So yeah, I was about to say you right? did the whole I'm thing a, with the broken yeah, toe. Right? You're like oh, I made the race <laughs> exactly. Uh, she's so, like I was in traction yesterday, but it's okay, we're good. And I was your broken toe. <laughs> and I was snapping Steve because like Disney has like a ton of Disney Crocs. Yes, you were. If you guys saw the Instagram story, and I kept messaging him, do it. Buy them. Yeah, they were they were like official Disney Crocs there, oh, that's and like awesome. all different styles and different flares on them, and different. It looked cool. Um, I was forbidden from buying them. Kelsey stepped in. Yeah. Well, we'll I was to go buy again. That's I gonna was be a forbidden trip. from buying any. Of the... Listen, my family is planning a Disney trip in 2024. I will be buying those Crocs. Oh, you got to make sure you do it. I'll buy two. You got to make sure you do it. You got to make sure. I didn't actually go into the parks, and the lines are too long to like. We were running, like I said, a slower pace. So it was I didn't want to wait in a half an hour line when it was already going slow. But yeah, that's um that's not a good idea. If you go, you gotta take some pictures with the characters throwing kicks. Well that's we, a good idea. We didn't actually go into the park. So I, my only chance to see characters was during, oh, during the race. The run, right? Yeah. Right. But if you go in, you gotta take take some pictures with the characters throwing throwing kicks. Oh, hundred percent, absolutely. I don't think they'll throw a thing. you out. No, they the what? I'm taking a picture with the character, which is what they want. Throwing a kick. I mean, who cares about the kick? I did I did do that in Disney Springs, though, and I didn't get any funny looks, so that no. was good. I mean, no. if anything, you could just try and convince the character to throw a kick with you. There were a couple of times, though, um, in Disney Springs, it was like their shopping mall, yeah. where I almost stopped somebody to ask them to throw a kick. But it Why was didn't you? Because it was crazy crowded, uh, and they were like, on the move. Mm. So they'd be like, moving. I'd be like, oh, they're in a crock. Let me just, oh, and they're gone. <laughs> So, well, another time. Next time we'll need some kind of like a poster or something so that they expect the question as they're walking by you. Yeah, I'm just going to point people yeah, out and go, you, <laughs> you're wearing hey, you. Crocs. Can you I got talk Crocs to you? On. I like it. That's, That's my plan. Idea. Maybe I'll go to the mall this weekend and just pick people out. Yeah, we can wait till the summertime with the boardwalks open. It's true. A lot of people wear boardwalk Crocs. It is. like The summertime is prime Croc wearing weather and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, we still see it nowadays, though. They're yeah. always out there wearing the Crocs in the wet weather. 
But anyways, so any other interesting things happen at Disney? Any other stories? You, you know what I got us? to do? I got to drive a, a cat boat. Yeah, so that was awesome. The pictures you were showing me, the videos. So tell them about the, this. This is cool. If you're going to Disney and you're not doing like the Wave Runner or anything where you have a little bit of excitement on the water, definitely at least try this out. This is oh cool. yeah. Tell so they take you out. They cool. take you out in a lake. Um, and what it is is a cat boat. looks like like two. I don't know, surfboards glued together, and there's seats on it. And on your right hand is your throttle, so you go fast or slow. And on your left hand, forward goes right, backwards goes left. And you steer yourself. So you're, you're out there following a tour guide who's got a walkie-talkie, and he's talking to you, giving you the history of the lakes and whatnot, um, who, who built what, whose house that is. And then you're just steering yourself, though. So it was my parents were in front of us. This tour guide, my parents, then me and Kelsey, or Kelsey and I, and then <laughs> proper grammar behind us was this couple from Iowa. So you you got to try and maneuver and keep up with the people in front. So you can't get too close, but you got to got to go on throttle up. sometimes. So there's no wake zones where they're breaking down things as you're as you're going. But then there's parts where like there's one 10 minute lake where they're like, you guys go do whatever you want to do. Speed around. Have some fun for 10 minutes. And they, they anchored like right in the center and ate their lunch. And the rest of us. Got to zip around, and they go up 30 miles per hour on that water. So we were hauling. Um, I hit one really good bump, like crossed <laughs> wake, and I, boom, boom. And then Kyle's like, you got to slow down. <laughs> like, <laughs> we got to slow stop. down. And I was doing this in Crocs again, I, I, I might add. Um, everything's in Crocs. Everything's in Crocs. And as he's pointing out things as we're, we're going, he gets, to, <laughs> he gets to one house. Gigantic house, and he goes, the person that lives there is a, a, a tick Talker. I'm not really sure what that is. That's what he said. Because I'm not really sure what that is, but that guy's a TikToker and he sings in this gigantic mansion. Like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. So for well, those of you with that TikTok dream, it can happen. And did you know? Pushing. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go. I keep pushing. Did you know that Kicking the Crocs has a TikTok? Get us that mansion, people. Come on. Let's go. I want to be out in the lake where I, can, where I have a cat boat. And we'll have all of you there. That's it. We'll all be kicking with Crocs on the uh, lake house in Disney. Absolutely. In all seriousness, though, it completely changed the topic, veering it off the road. We have talked about once we build up our fan base a lot more, we want to do meetups and stuff like that. Well, yeah, we definitely would. That would be awesome. To we do really want to do meetups. You said you wanted to call them kicknicks, like a instead kick-nick. of a picnic. That's what I did call a it, a kicknick. A kicknick. And we want to do oh, like, yeah, uh, we want to do it all over the East Coast, hopefully, I would I would hope. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that would be really cool, doing like a kicknick and having people come on yeah. out, everybody in their Crocs and everybody throwing kicks. You got to be like careful that. attending that we event. Had, we had our first non martial artist. Mm-hmm. I think we had our first non martial artist uh, to a kick your brother. We did. Yeah. Hey, listen, <laughs> it wasn't Props. bad. It was Props a good him. kick, right? Well, he came into my room randomly, as younger brothers do, and he no, I just have my you know my Crocs are like stacked one on top of the other. So he saw the pile of Crocs, and he said, "Ooh, can I try them on?" And I said, "Sure, but you have to throw a kick." And he said, okay. So he put him on, and he, I had him throw a front kick because that's like the simplest one to throw. And uh, it, it came out pretty good. It, it didn't look too bad. It was a pretty good, it was a pretty good it kick. It was above waist level for someone that doesn't throw kicks. That's great. Which gives me, it gives me hope for stopping people on the street and like, hey, yeah. you, throw a kick. I well, think that's going to be. I think we're going to be <laughs> really surprised by some of the kicks coming out. I do. I do. Think we're going to get that first, like, dancer, cheerleader. Yeah. That's like, oh, I can't I can kick. kick above my head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't it's know like, what a oh, kick is. You should Martial run this artist, site what? <laughs> Sponsored by this ballet dancer. <laughs> uh, you know, it was cool, though, going back to Disney real fast. I, I knew this would make you, like... Jealous when I saw it, I was like, "Oh!" I even said to Kelsey, "I go, oh man, Steve's gonna, Steve would love this." At the start line, so you have to get there at three thirty in the morning. Jeez. The race don't start till five, mm. so you're you're waiting in these corrals. They got everybody in these groups. They're called corrals. So you're just you're just waiting for things to happen. And they have your classic like morning radio DJs that are like oh. really perky and hey, it's not three in the morning. Hey. <laughs> so, I've been awake this whole time, guys. Right. I've had like five espressos. So they have this jumbotron where like right at the start line so you can see the people that are talking and then they interview racers and they interview Mickey and, and Minnie and you know, they bring the characters up. And um right before they started the race, they're like, Oh, let's give you something to think about Outside of the race, and they played that new trailer before it dropped on YouTube. 
The Ant Man and the Wasp they Quantumania played the, trailer. They played the Ant Man and the Wasp mm. uh, Quantumania trailer on this gigantic jumbotron right before the first uh, wheelchair racer started. Oh, cool! That would have gotten me that so hyped for is the race. Awesome. Yeah, that would have gotten but, me like. Listen, Disney doesn't do things wrong, right? There's a reason they're as successful as they are. They having the, the people able to watch for free, getting you into that show, having you take pictures of the characters. I mean, they do it right. They make it worth your trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Been going is, how long again? Oh, God. Uh, this is like my 14th or 15th time running this race. Wow. So I've gone, yeah. obviously, not to just run, but I've gone a bunch of times to run. The, the, I think the most fun thing is we built lightsabers one year. That's uh, for the I race? To do. No, we went down my... Oh, we went for the it. race. We did, We ran the race, but we built lightsabers like at the park. Yeah, they the had that Land. place, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, they're pretty cool. They're they're pretty neat. My nephews built them like, uh, and you you battle with them. They make different sounds. You can buy kyber crystals to like inject, and they change the color and the sound effects. And That's cool. It's really neat. That's on the bucket list for us when we go to Disney. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's on the bucket list. And you're That's going for sure. next if you're going next 2024. Year, yeah, it's a good time because they've fully flushed out the Star Wars. Yeah. Set. Oh all. yeah, Galaxy's Edge. It's called. They got the full thing fleshed out. Yeah, they do. It's pretty cool. We get the blue milk. We got that yeah, down yeah. there, which is pretty neat. <laughs> Um, but like people dress up in costumes for the race too. Oh, cool! So there was a um, there was a, a woman that ran a store. What? Oh yeah, ran a store and carried a hammer the entire race. So she was running a store. There was. Um, I hope she actually like talked like Thor too. Like thy has no no but power. But to as run I was walking, as thee does. <laughs> as I'm walking to the start line, right? So we're walking to get to our corrals, and there's a guy fully dressed up as Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, great. I'm saying, like, yes. head to toe, wig, makeup, and he's got the walk. So he's doing like that. Like, he's doing the Jack Sparrow. Like, he's doing the Jack Sparrow walk. I love it. And he's it. like, dead on. It looks just like Jack Sparrow. So, me being me, I talk to everybody. I turn to him, I go, nice. You gonna run the whole race like that? Like, like with the walking? He doesn't miss a beat. He turns and goes, is there any other way? Yes. Spot on. Total, oh, total Jack Sparrow it. answer. In character. The In whole character. Time. Like, is there any other way? And I'm like, oh man, so good. That's incredible. And there's one guy dressed up as um, Steamboat Mickey. Like, you know, the classic. Oh, yeah. The black and white. Black and white. <laughs> so he had the black and white costume style on. And then um, he had a white, pretty big ship steering wheel. I don't know what you call it. The wheel. Yeah, no, this the, the, the ship it's, wheel is It's fine, called yeah. the ship wheel. Wheel, I don't know. <laughs> it's just called the wheel. The helm. The if helm. You so choose, if you want, like, the official, what official is the, name for it. Leave in the comments the nautical term for a steering wheel on a ship. Let's go with helm. <laughs> I don't think you're right, but I want let's the go. nautical term. Yes, the so, helm. Let's find out. We talked about this. So, I can just uh, Google stuff. He was running with both hands on this thing. So 26 miles. One end oh of this side, God. one end of this side, and pretending to steer the whole time he was running. <laughs> Tell me you got, you saw him at the end. Like how I didn't. Was, I did not uh, see him at the end. It would have been neat yeah. to see him at the end. I did uh, not. I can't imagine doing that the entire time. But that must, I mean, that's, if you're going to be a character, it's got to be in that race. I, I mean, that's the race to dress up. Yeah. And people dress up. I mean, it's cosplay for Disney. Yeah, yeah, so it's it, at Disney, it really is. so why not? And you know, they, and Disney has Marvel. Disney has so you see superheroes. You see, uh, we started the race with a um, an older couple that dressed up as like the Jungle Cruise people, but like older. Okay, Got and it. It was, okay. that was pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think, what other good costumes were there? There was a giant banana. I don't, that had nothing. There's to do with, always a banana. That had nothing to do with Disney. Ah, there was a guy that ran as um, Tamatoa. Oh, the the, cool. the crab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. From, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Moana. There's Moana. a whole Moana group. And so we passed the entire group. And then as we get a little bit further up, there was Tomatoa. And we're like, what? What, what is, is this? There's a guy down my group's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to see them. This, this outfit's awesome. And it's huge. Yeah, I mean, Disney's known for setting the environment, without a doubt, right? So my brother-in-law is a huge, huge Disney fan. They go a couple times a year. Uh, his, his wife actually does a great job at setting up the trips if anybody's interested. Um, and you know, when you look at just how they set up the structure, like even the houses in some of the areas, they make them 
like smaller at the top to make it look grander as a as like a village right and then they even do um they'll they'll pump out scents into certain areas oh yeah that i know they set do the state. i mean that is just to think of that concept is awesome they do they do that during the race too like when you go through certain sections oh and, really except for um when you run animal kingdom you run behind the scenes so you have your whole uh septic area i was gonna that's, say what kind of uh, sense are you yeah, getting that's in the uh, animal kingdom <laughs> but you do get to pet that's the so animals cool. as you're going in which is which is neat oh that's cool so but they also do you know speaking of disney now, someone now dressed as a snapchatting uh, team no <laughs> Just speaking of disney though they do a martial arts tournament in disney Oh really? They do, yeah. One one of the uh, NASCAR huh. ones is in Disney, I believe. So that might be. Maybe we should do a trip like that. Yeah, just Picking to go see in a it. tournament. Yeah, just to go watch it or watch it. That too. I mean, I mean, we oh, get out there. I mean, will they let we us get use? out there? I mean, I don't know if they let us do it in Crocs. That would be cool. Instead of foot gear, you wear Crocs. Think that counts? Is no. It safety? Is it safety protection? I don't think so. Crocs are definitely like they're not as. Added as oh, we the might get disqualified. Foot you pads. know what? Though we're not going to be qualified. <laughs> <laughs> we're, exactly like, we're not making it past the first round, anyways. Like, yeah, so what's the point? You just walk in. And, no, we can go and watch. We can go and spectate. We can we do a, a, like a live broadcast, maybe. Well, yeah, definitely. I would think about that. That would be cool. Yeah, they they have that. a pretty big uh, tournament scene in Disney because they do like cheerleading competitions, dance yeah. competitions. Yeah. Well, well competitions, so where you pick up your packet? So, like I said, you have to go pick up your packet the day before. Mm -hmm. Is it in ESPN's Wild World of Sports, oh, which is it. where all their stuff happens. So they have this gigantic arena, mm -hmm. and in that arena is where I know one of the martial arts um, tournaments takes place. They do the cheerleading in there. They do a lot of stuff in there. Actually, I know a couple guys that have competed before in that. So it's it's nice. pretty cool. We should make a trip one time. Definitely. That'll be, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put it on the list. Put it on the list. We gotta put get it Disney on Crocs. the list. Gotta get Disney, we got to get Disney Crocs, and then we got to go watch some martial arts tournaments in Disney, film it, record it, make a video out of it. Well, yeah, I'm glad you had a good time, man. It's good to be back. I'm excited. I, I'm actually not in as much pain as I thought, so I'm back to kicking. So we can oh, nice. start uh, okay. doing some kicking drills and stuff on, on uh, Sunday, I think. All right. Or today. Today is Sunday. Uh, yeah, by the magic of podcast. By the, uh, technically, by the time this podcast comes out, yes, it, it will be Sunday. By so, as you're podcast. listening to this, we are filming videos and content right now. Ignore the timestamp. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, we upload them on Sundays. It's true. We drop every Sunday. We drop a podcast. That's what we're trying for. That's what we're going. That's for. the that's the goal anyway. I think I think we might be able to get on um, the person responsible for my first pair of Crocs soon too. Okay. So. If you want to make you want to make that the next one, maybe if we can get it. But the next episode, I can't talk anymore. I'm so tired. I can't make that the next episode. If we make it happen, right? I think we can. Still looking forward to our trip to the Croc store in. Yeah, we gotta get take Nick to the Croc yeah, store. Yeah, we gotta get you. Do you own a pair of Crocs? Be honest. We already now. talked about this. I mean, did we? Yeah, we did on the first podcast. On the first episode, episode we did. Oh, that's right. He doesn't. I we do not. Did. I mean, do me the. the me purchasing them for other people count as me owning them because I have to purchase them. No. Uh, they don't go upon my own feet, if that's what you're asking. That's about. a gray area. I mean, you're supporting, but are you? Am I? But I are know, you? I know. You need, once you have a pair for yourself that it's you can wear changer. and you can kick in them, then you're really one of us. One it's true. That's us. that's what I think. One of us. <laughs> one of us. I think that's, that's, that's the case. It's got to be that way. Yeah. All right. I look forward to it. No, I mean, I'm looking at some different styles. I know I was talking with Steve V. Not me. Yeah, the other Steve. And he was we have mentioning his big search for the American flag crop. You know, they he have. He still wants them to look like a flag, though, not like a tie dye. Well, they have. Disney has a Disney croc that's red, white, and blue American flag style. Full oh. on. Oh, full on. I was man. tempted, but, but if I was buying a pair of crocs there, it was for me. That, no, I know. I'm just that. thinking even like sending him a picture of it just so he knows they exist because he said he's been on a pretty <laughs> every day since we've mentioned He's not them. searching that hard, then. They oh, that hard. says. <laughs> I mean, he's going to search as hard as he's searching. I know that he's putting in a little bit of effort, so, so that's good. So they exist, Steve. That's the good thing. They're out there. Dave has seen them. They do. They do. It's out there. I got to get, I got to get, I got to get some cricket, kicking and crocs merchandise of my own. Yeah, I, I mean, we already have shirts. Wait, oh, it's over there. Oh, uh, you got a bottle. So I can't grab so, it. 
Yeah, your shirt's legit. For Christmas, one of our students. It's over there. It's right down there. Thank I'm you just going to tell you. So for Christmas, one of our students got... So we we work at different branches of the same school. There's only two schools, so mm-hmm. it's it's small business, but... Um, one of Steve's stuff. students got him a wonderful bottle. I love it. That has the full Kicking and Crocs logo on it and his name. And I'm like, you cannot use that on this podcast till I have something. So I'm gonna get my own little mug that says like Kicking and Crocs. Would you like me to get you a mug? No, I'm gonna get. It I'll myself. get you a mug. No, you, with the I'll amount of tea that we drink, we should have a full. That's, yeah, that's we will. a titty, we will. By the way, we will have a suite a of Kicking and Crocs tea mugs. That should be a we will standard. Should That'll be one of the things we put out there. Thinking about it, mm-hmm. yeah. that'll yeah. be one of the things we put out there. But yes, thank you, Lily. I love my new Crocs. Uh, I'm just gonna glare. Crocs. I'm just gonna no, glare no, glare at, at it. Don't he really bad. does love them, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a very lovely gift. <laughs> now he came in with. I'll make you feel I mean, You should bit. lean over there and get it and show them later. I, I, he could. He's tired. I'm too tired. It's really awesome. It's a nice tall container. With the uh, nice wrap of Kicking and Crocs logo, it came out fantastic. So nice job. So so Sunday, mm-hmm. when we drop this, I know we're gonna film some videos and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe we should do some of our. We're gonna do some training and stuff. Absolutely, it's it might not be usual. in Crocs, but maybe we can film some of it too. Oh yeah, that's we'll fine. See. We'll see. Yes, yeah, for sure. Give you a glimpse into what we do. Yeah, absolutely. We could do that. We could do, like I said, we want to start doing like Instagram and live streams and TikTok live streams and for sure. We could even do it on YouTube too. We could just do it on all three. Yeah, I think so. Live stream would be cool too. Yeah, yeah, at some point. Absolutely. And uh yeah. That's about it. Yeah, that's about all we got, that's right? That's about all I got today. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. I mean I mean that's I about all some... I got today. I, 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 I like the, the, the Disney trip. I thought it was a good time that you guys went. I've never done a Disney run, so it's interesting when you try to tell me all the facts about it. It I is I didn't know it, I, I you think... can watch it without having to worry about it, just kinda of walk right in. Yeah, you can walk right in. I think I think I'm gonna train and then when i do it next year i think maybe i'm gonna try and do it just in the crocs oh no i think i oh, think i'm boy. gonna do it no, oh, no, no 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 I you think, heard I it think, here first people if you want it, dave man. to run a marathon a full marathon in crocs 2024 comment yeah like subscribe I, I share, gotta let them know what's the worst that could happen your feet get covered in blisters <laughs> <laughs> And you're, you're in pain. You're kicking out of Crocs next show. I don't know. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. No, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm, we're, we're going to go for but it. Again, this, mo- this is a good time for you to research the best Croc for this event, right? Like maybe it's a different type of Croc. I want to. I'm going to do it in a Disney Croc. If I'm going to run a Disney, I'm going to do it in a Disney Croc. All right. All right. Oh boy. As long as you have a steamboat Willie wheel, we're fine. And, and, and <laughs> speaking be... of which, I have the uh, the name of it. Oh, right here. okay, let's hear. Okay, it. so it says most boaters call the steering wheel the helm. Ooh, this Steve is also is right. referred to as the tiller toggle. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, many people will visualize a boat steering wheel as the classic shape and design you might see on pirate boats from children's. That's books what I'm talking about. That's what it yeah. is. But so yeah, it's like the the helm or the tiller or apparently the toggle is wow, also so Steve, a name for Steve it. was pretty right with that. He, with was, the helm. Right he was right it on. It doesn't happen often, but every now and then, he was yes, dead on I'm with right. the helm, that which was is impressive. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, I want a crop, but not a costume. I can't do costumes. Why no, not? not when I run. I do costumes otherwise. You but if you were in a costume. But if you're wearing Crocs, like a Mickey Mouse hat. She would definitely would not dress up. She doesn't dress up for Halloween. It's not her thing. But I I can't get to wear a pair of Crocs. Come on. But we did. We we, we ran a race together one time. Uh, well, uh, well, we won many races. Oh, the half. Say the half, the half the marathon. We I'm won Spartan about. races all the time together. But I got you to do one half marathon. Yes, and I will never do one again. It was pretty cool. He he stopped. He stayed with someone that got hurt, and he stayed with her the entire race. And your brother won the race. No, okay. Let's not say won the race. He got came in first for his age group. But he won the race. His but, age group was. Your brother was incredibly he came in first for his age group, yeah, and he couldn't even accept the prize money. No, they didn't let him accept it. No, well, we'll see. Well, first of all, he they they called his name, and then he said he wasn't sure if it was his name that he heard or not, so he didn't do anything. But even if he had and gone up, he wouldn't have been allowed to accept it because if he did, he would have lost um his scholarship. Oh, oh wow. taking outside money from it, it was something complicated. Yeah, because he told ahead. me about it though. He, he, him, and my dad both said like, "Oh, it's a good thing he, that he didn't go up and get it because right. I would have made a mess of everything." So, 
That's still pretty cool, though. That I mean, is he, really he did cool. really a mm-hmm. good job. And it does a better kick than you, too. So I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Listen, for a cold yeah. kick, yes. Please. He did a really nice job on that. Hey, I didn't really, know he really was a try. runner. I didn't even oh, know yeah. his brother was a runner. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, fantastic runner. runner. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe oh, we so should cool. get him on the podcast. Oh, God. Running in Crocs. I hate Let that. Now we get. Oh, he would hate that. He would never run in a pair of Crocs. We do, we do have a lineup, though, of, of good guests. We do. We talked about it every podcast so we far. We do. We'll get it. We've checked one guest. No, we haven't had any guest on, have we? Nick. My Nick's guess? not really a guest. I mean, he's Nick's that... a mainstay now. So if I'd I'm fifty percent and you're fifty percent, he's that point zero 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 non-existent percent. Whoa, point zero zero one percent. Point zero zero nine. It's like having a share in Disney. It's great. Listen, one share. If you, share. It means nothing, if you get, but it's pair, nice to put it on the wall. If you get a pair of Crocs, we'll change our little intro to. I'm fifty. Uh, well, I'm forty nine point five percent. Forty nine point. This is the percentage. I need the point one. Forty nine percent of kicking the crocs. I'm forty nine percent of kicking the crocs, and this is Nick. One percent of kicking the crocs. I'll do the math. It's fine. <laughs> I like it. I'll take it. So that's all I need is to get a pair of crocs. That's, that's all it. you need. That's your buy-in. Ownership. I that's like your it. buy-in. We're literally that doing is. a video with it. So yeah, absolutely. We'll do a video with tickets we're gonna, to we're the gonna, crocs we're gonna, outlet, and if you buy, pick out your pair. And speaking of Disney, did you show my new Grogu uh, pillow? Oh no, we didn't. Let us show the pillow. Listen, it's Grogu pillow. Got that bad boy off Amazon. I thought it was awesome. It's got we were watching the Mandalorian Yoda's. the other day with the uh, the son, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get myself a uh, Grogu pillowcase. That yeah. I mean, he's That's everywhere great. in Disney. Oh really? Yes. Everywhere, everywhere you go, there's a Grogu something or other. He's got to be the most popular character right oh, now. Oh yeah, they're doubt. gonna give him his own show. Oh, Star Wars, definitely, without a doubt. There'll be a Grogu show one day. Well, there has to be because they need to explain where did he go. What What do you mean? He's with the Mandalorian going into season? No, yes, no, no, no. But Later by the time on, he gets to the sequel trilogy, he doesn't. Exist. He never showed yeah, up. Yeah, he doesn't show up in the sequel trilogy. So where so where, where did he, he go why, what's after? Because the Mandalorian falls in between right after episode. Well, not right after episode six, but after episode six. Okay. So, so in the Star the Wars news, timeline, we got Skywalker you know stuff. Return of the Jedi. You know, in the fall, of the Empire right. and Luke Skywalker. That's why. Oh God, I uh, probably shouldn't talk too much about it. Show because spoilers in case other people haven't seen it. Just in case. Well, it's been just out in case. Like, just in case. Uh, just yeah. In case. Well, go, going forward though. Yes. Anyways. So I, I, um, past thirty days, spoilers don't count. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I kind of yeah. agree with that. Super age spoiler. Alert. I'll try to. Yeah. Okay. Continue. So there's this movie called The Return of the Jedi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just came out forty years ago. Can you believe he was his father? I know. <laughs> no, Dave, you just ruined it. <laughs> you ruined uh, the whole story. I don't want to see. He it dies anymore. at the end. No. All right. Continue. But it falls after episode six, so <laughs> it's the aftermath of the fall of the Empire and the power struggle and stuff like that. So that's why that's all going on. Um, right, it's before the whole raid. Yeah, it's before okay. episode seven. Right. So why so, is Grogu? Grogu is literally only a baby there. in yeah. the Mandalorian. So by the time we get to episode seven, he has to at least be like maybe a teenager a, or a young adult. You would think, right? Because right? I mean, I know species. his species ages slower, so he's fifty years old right now, and he's still a, t- a little toddler. But by the time he gets to episode seven, he's got to be at least a teenager. So I would think, right? What yeah, happens? Because he's got to be in like about a hundred. And you would think he would. You think he would step years in. Years between. I always wonder about that. Why don't they step in when there's like powerful beings? And yeah, but you have so them. many of them that didn't. Even Luke was so hesitant to was step in when you follow the storyline, right? <laughs> Even Luke, who's considered one of the strongest, was so hesitant to step in. Grogu had nothing to do with this the main storyline. Could have easily just right. let him stand no, out. No, you're right. Picture. I give it to you. That's what I'm saying. Like, hopefully, I don't want to be right. Give him. I mean, see, here's the thing, though. If they give him his own show to cover that particular time in the timeline, he wouldn't be a baby anymore. Would people still like him as well? I don't know. People still like Groot. That's true. People I mean, like but Groot every iteration was, of Groot. But, yes, but Groot was popular before he became Baby Groot. I think Baby Groot was the most popular in, incarnation of Groot. No, you're absolutely right. But uh, see, people haven't seen an older incarnation of Grogu. No, but he, what, Yoda. Well, Yoda and people the independently same. liked Yoda. They even right. got That's excited true. about true. Yoda in you know when you know, he whipped when, when out he his lightsaber and he's yes. like, "Let's go, baby!" Oh God, that's amazing. So to see what that species does outside of you know following Yoda and then a baby infant, I think I think people would watch that. He's know? already so powerful too, man. I think uh, he lifted a freaking rancor. I think we have a oh not the rain the the rhino. That's that's. Uh, well, no, no, that that was in season one. You, you might I'm talking about in Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, he didn't lift the rancor. He just calmed he it down. Oh, he calmed it down. Okay. I, I no, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just watched it. The only reason you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> so, 
We're going to give Steve a mighty editing job with this podcast. Yeah, no, <laughs> Why? This great we stuff. We're all over the map. No, who cares? Which is fine. Well, we're we, Disney we've focused said that to people for your Crocs, before. I, I literally. Disney. Yeah, yeah, you did start I up. I literally started off as saying this it's late a, at night. We're tired. We're going to go podcast. off on tangents. So this just is true. Away. This is true. We got our bases covered. We're fine. Yeah, we, we gave a disclaimer at the start of this. You knew we what you did. were in for. We did. Yeah. Plus, and if you're not, if you're not Star Wars fans, I do apologize. <laughs> to listen there's to nothing those. better than a good tangent. That's true. Which is where tangents we just went off onto. Oh, I, I got a uh, conversation made. I never watch award shows, but then uh, making its rounds on Instagram was the um. Golden Globes. Just, so you watch this movie, the Golden Globes, everything, everywhere, all at once. Lo- uh, not 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 kid friendly, by the way. Fantastic so I movie. Definitely I wouldn't go adult to only. it. Um, adult no. only, but it's good martial arts flick. Uh, if you're an adult. Old enough to watch it. If you're into adult, that wasn't humor. even the seller, though. Uh, no, it wasn't. But it was very good. It was a good movie. Yeah. But I I couldn't place the main the, the supporting. So Michelle Yeoh was like the main yep. character who I know from like Crouch Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and other things. But I I couldn't place the guy that played her husband. I, I I knew I knew him, but I couldn't place him. And he was fantastic in that whole movie. He was fantastic. Really did a great job. And then the on Instagram the rounds were being made. Uh, he won the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. It was the guy from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Remember as a kid? So if you ever saw Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, he played Short Round. One of the main characters right. as a junior actor. And yeah. then he played, he was in a movie called The Goonies, if you ever saw The Goonies. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and that basically all he did. And then that was his whole speech was about how, like, he thought he peaked in his childhood and is happy to be back. But I was like, oh, my God, it's short round. Oh, he's my favorite character in Indiana Jones. And you sent me the video. I sent you the video, yep. It was such a humbling, accepting speech, which I feel that that industry is in desperate need of again. It was truly humble, not like a made up. Like, he was so pleased and thankful for the opportunity to get back into the industry oh, the yeah. right way. It was a great great character for and, and the fight scenes in that movie are amazing. It's the guys, um, I never say it right, but Andy and Brian, it's, it's, it's either Lay or Lee, or I never pronounce it right. But um, And they were in what, but, Paper Tigers? They were yeah, in Paper the, Tigers. Yeah, the Instagram page that you follow. So I used to follow them on Instagram before they ever made it like big, and then they made it big with uh, Paper Tigers, and then he played uh, Death Dealer. Shang Andy Chi. played Death Dealer in Shang Chi, so he did. They did all the choreography for the fight scenes. Yeah, that was awesome. the whole. It was awesome. So yeah, went on a tangent on that. But yeah, and if you again, uh, anything, anytime, anywhere, is that what it was? Any, no, no, <laughs> I messed it up. Everything, but, everywhere, everything, all at once. All the time. Yeah, I completely butchered the name. Fantastic movie though. Please go see it. Their, their kicks are amazing too. Oh man, if I could get some Crocs on them feet. And there's some. <laughs> we'll do it. What was we'll really it, we'll cool was their choreography is comedic and precise. Yeah, it's like, uh, it like old awesome. school kung fu movies. Yeah, that's like what they're going for. And that's that they're, But if I get some Crocs on their feet, oh god. I mean, in Shang Chi, the choreography was like, whoa, we need to do. <laughs> well, that contributed to that too. Like, so. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. It's like, oh my god, like the fight with Death Dealer, like the Shang Chi versus Death Dealer. Fight. Oh yeah, that's why, like my favorite all time. It was a great. That was, it was one of the first Marvel. times the the movement he did in there was like the one of the first times it's ever been done on 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 camera for yeah. a major film, um, and he does it all himself. That's not wire work. No, he's no, that the was them. So that was the actor that played Shang Chi, and then that was him doing all the actual oh, yeah. movements and stunts and stuff like that. They may have sped it up a little bit in post, but it was all them doing it. And and honestly, if you look at like old kung fu shoes, they're tiny, they're light. There's not a lot of support in them to yep. begin with. Exactly. Um, Crocs would be perfect, like perfect. They, they almost remind me of like a modified ballet shoe because they're almost like all Very fabric so. with a tiny thin slither of plastic. One hundred percent. Yeah. Um, I used to have a pair eons ago, and they are comfortable for about like ten seconds. Uh, that's why you go barefoot. <laughs> it's way better barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> we went to an Irish pub after the race, like that night after okay. the race, and uh, we were watching the Irish step dancers. You ever see the step dancers? Yes, impressive. Oh my God, the leg dexterity. And I kept thinking too as they're dancing because they either have the tap shoes. <laughs> they should all have Crocs. They have the tap shoes or they have Irish the point dancing shoes. dancing in Crocs. Yep. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> Crocs. They could do it in Crocs. You just lay, you, you just put on the bottom of them, right? A metal uh, you know, in, implant on the bottom so it makes the noise still. That's oh, what I'm there saying. There you go. There you go. Let me get some tap Irish shoe colored ones. Yeah, prop, proper ideas. I like this. This will work. <laughs> tap shoe Crocs. Tap shoe. Tap it in Crocs. Tap it. Tap it in Crocs. 
some dance studio is going to take this. There's, dude, yeah, there's two right. dance school instructors right now. Yep. Leeching like, this oh, idea. Oh, that's a great idea. They're, they're on Amazon it. purchasing their first pair of Crocs, and the other one's at Home Depot getting some metal pieces to tap into the bottom of them. <laughs> yep. Oh, we give away ideas. We want everyone to be successful. It makes that's sense. It's true. It's true. And then we keep most of the, the most of the good ideas that we get are stolen. That's, this is true. Or like, Except it's, for this one, kicking in Crocs is our own or your own well, thing. I came up with the idea for an Instagram account, but we've blossomed a bit together into this. It's, it's been blossomed into what it's this is now. blossomed to my couch. That's where we're at right now. Yeah. I like it. Well, and well, I'm very comfy. The podcast is just phase one. That's so true. We're Marvel movies. This is just phase one. Like yeah, it. that's true. If we're the MCU, <laughs> the the, um, the KC? KCU? C- yeah, KCU. Kicking in K- Crocs universe? KICU. KICU. You would look most like Q. Tony Stark, Steve. I would. Oh, yeah. 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 I could pull off a Tony Stark cosplay. If we ever do. um. Marvel themed costumes for the drunk retreat for the cross. Oh school yeah, again. we could I do could that. Pull, I, could, I could pull off a Tony Stark you kicking could. in Crocs cosplay. We should go. We should, yeah, go to, uh, uh, we should go to a convention of some sort and have you dress oh, up yeah, as Tony we should, Stark. New York Comic Con. You could pull Isn't off a Tony right Stark without a doubt. Without a doubt. You could do a Tony Stark. I could do it. I can. I, I can pull off anybody. I can pull off like no in full gear. You, you could pull, pull off machine. Grogu and uh, <laughs> War Machine in full gear. I could do like, War Machine. I could do Professor X. Yeah, yes. I could probably pull out a Professor X. Professor you could X. do Professor X, right? I think I pull off Professor X. I'm not pushing you around in a wheelchair, though. I just don't mm. understand that. Darn it! Who's the new villain in uh, Wasp and Ant Man? Uh, Kang, Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, I could be Kang. There you, go. there you go. Yeah, actually, yeah, you really could. You could pull that off. Or you could you be could Thanos. Pull, uh, yeah, Thanos, or uh, the shortest Thanos in business. <laughs> oh, nobody cares about that. We'll I'm trying to think of the ca- there's a character in my head and I can't think of it. But he I was Nick Fury. A, he was Nick Fury the last time we with did. With the uh, beard, just go a little bit longer down. Oh man, man, I can't. What? what there's what a character in my head and I can't think of who it is. Marvel from character? Marvel. All right, we'll bring Might it back. Might be Marvel. Might be Marvel. Might be Johnny Quest. I don't know. I'm Johnny <laughs> Quest. Wow. This is again. This is uh, a late night show. So. <laughs> We're going to go off on a couple different... Our minds go in a bunch of different directions. Oh. We literally... We got to Halloween costume ideas. Yeah, somehow we made uh, Halloween yeah. costume ideas. Yes. We started talking well, about the Disney you know, marathon. That makes sense. The Disney's chock full of costumes. That's so true. To costumes. It's a Tony Stark thing that really... Oh, yeah, that is, yeah. I'm not even going to so bother trying had to figure a, they out had a, um, the rabbit hole. They had the Iron Man glove. Mm. I was playing with one of the Disney stores mm-hmm. where you can articulate all the fingers oh, cool. so you yep. can actually grab things with the yep. glove and... Yeah, they had an Infinity Gauntlet first, and then they made the Iron Man one for the opposite hands. So you literally could have an Infinity Gauntlet on one hand and the Iron Man Gauntlet on the other hand. The Iron Man Gauntlet has the gems mm-hmm. oh, the Infinity stones for the Infinity yeah. Stones. So I was like, oh, but you can't snap. You can't. It, you it's can't only reach. open and closed. You can't yeah, snap. You can't reach. Did you guys see, did you see when you were there the Mickey Mouse whose mouth actually moved? No. They've got one. It's wild. So that sounds have, scary. Well, it's cool. No, it's really cool. This is a so toy? They, no, no, no. It's it's a character. You can you can sign the autographs. Oh. They have oh. a couple of them where they fully animated top the, the head, the character, and the mouth moves. And in certain areas, they have multiple lingual people in the background that they'll switch the oh, languages based that's on cool. the audience coming up to talk to this character. It is wild. I feel like that's like the original Ninja Turtles movie where like, like were, animatronics. Yes, there were real were people in the body but animatronic helmets, which is yes. how it should be done for the record because they're real martial artists actually doing martial arts. Right. I mean, I still think some CGI should Side be involved. Kicks. But yeah. Well, Anyways, yeah, these yep. days, yes. <laughs> yeah, these days some. Mm-hmm. So. But that was that. Uh, that was cool. And you're right. Ninja Turtles is probably the best example of the use of Yeah, the it's helmet. animatronic yeah. head but real people just in a foam body. It was a really cool way for them to do it. I'd never seen them do it in you know, in a park like that before. Yeah, that is it, neat. it was a lot of work. what I what I'm excited for is uh, I was I was a week or two too late that they're opening the Nintendo World and Universal. Nintendo World. Oh, I heard about that. oh yeah. Are they, they replacing Marvel with it? Yeah, no, pretty much. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh, because Universal used to have Universal some had all of Marvel until Disney got the rights. So. They had a Wicked Spider-Man ride. It was awesome. They had a mm. beautiful spider But the last time I was in Universal was like five years ago. All the Marvel stuff was getting kind of beat up. beat up because they never were updating anything because other than a couple characters, all the rights are Disney. So, mm. so yeah. Um, Nintendo World is going to have like 
It looks like Nintendo World. My, uh, my wife sent me a video one of in it. Japan, right? It looks exactly like that. That one's beautiful. And it's got uh, Mario Karts, and so you can drive the Mario Kart. Uh... We still have to go on the new raceway in Edison. Is it yeah. Edison? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have oh, to go 30-plus yeah. miles an hour, three stories. We went We went go-kart, and Nick and I went go-kart. And Nick, myself, and my wife met up in Texas, of all places. <laughs> um, we Same there, hotel. We were there for a weekend, and by sheer coincidence... We ended up in the same hotel. Oh, yeah, no, you guys told me about this. So oh, we so went, boy. we were like, oh, we have one day where we can spend some time together. So we went to a go kart place. Uh, yeah, oh, yo. So we good. went to a go kart because we play Mario Kart every Tuesday. So it has to be fun. three stories, full bike helmet gear. Up to, you know, turtleneck set oh, yeah. to protect yourself. I, I started to get nervous as I started to gear us up. I was like, because I thought, like, oh, okay, we're going to drive some go-karts. Like, I'm thinking, I don't know why I was thinking, like, bumper cars from when I was a kid. Like, oh, yeah. it's going to be very, like, tame. Yeah. And they're like, this is not tame. I think they even started <laughs> off, like, you have to sign, like, eight waivers. And then you get a legit race helmet. Like, a legit. You had to put the thing over and the race helmet. And uh, within the first... Three laps, somebody quits me and spins me entirely around. I know. I was like, Dave, what happened? Uh, I, I feel like awful. I'm lapping you. He goes, yeah, I got clipped. And they and they spend a good five minutes. At this speed, please make no contact with another car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this dude clipped me, spun me around, and then cut you off. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's the only one that actually beat me. I got second. And I, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I was dead last. Speaking of which, like I said, we play Mario Kart every, every Tuesday. Maybe we should start challenging people. Mario Kart with the crop crew. Maybe like a Wednesday or a Thursday, and it could challenge us on the Switch. Not a bad idea. Or you can even, if you want to do like a broader challenge, you can even, you know, pick a, a, a map, race it, see how fast you beat it, and say, okay, let's see who can beat it and post your times. Be honest. Yeah, there's, there's too many good people out there that will be. Yeah, there'll yeah. be too many good like people. We're only going to challenge to, people that we but can But we're beat. here to make people feel good about themselves. No, no, no. I wanna, You'll feel great. I want to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> You'll feel great about it. I want to be able to throw stuff at people. Got it. Yeah, that's Red my show. goal. Red show. And and you want them to enjoy the experience of listening to your celebrations, and you get hit by a red shell. I hate getting hit by red shells. Uh, You'd so. have to tone it down. <laughs> I would have to tone it down. The potty, the potty language would have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You don't just well, say, I get hit all the time. We have to get some kind of oh, sound effect to cover uh, Dave's We've been using the moose in the other videos. I'm have you? Oh, yeah, it's true. You did put those it's in. It's true. There. You did put moose in. I am excited. Like, oh, you son of a... I'm excited to kick again, though. I'm looking forward yeah. to getting the kicked back home. And the toe is pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, it's there. As far as it's, the feet. It's, it's still you know, it's still big, but, you know, my big toe is still big, but it's, it's there. It works. I can really? kick stuff. Your big toe is still big. That's right. You don't say. So I can kick stuff, so I'm ready to go. Let's do this. And Absolutely. without calling out names, some thank yous to the people sending you Croc videos, by the way. Some really cool ones. Oh, yeah. Some it's fun nice. ones. I have, like, at least three videos to post of people yeah. sending stuff. So I have three videos I got to post. And let's go. Let's keep that coming. Yeah, come on, guys. So what we want to do with this page, the original idea was that people would submit photos and videos to us of them kicking in Crocs and not have it just all be about us. Like, don't get us wrong, we're going to be on the page, but we wanted the Instagram, at least the Instagram page, to be mostly other people submitting right. their videos and photos of them kicking it. Yeah, the, the Instagram is, is mainly for you guys, um, and then, you know, we'll make appearances, and then yeah. the YouTube, the TikTok, and some of the Instagram videos and things like that, that's Absolutely. always, that's us. But yeah. So if you guys have or will do any photos or videos of you guys kicking in Crocs, either direct message it to us on the Instagram and we'll download it and post it there. Or you can email it to us uh, to kickinincrocs at gmail.com. So that's C-I-C-K-I. No, it's not C-I-C-K. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too tired for it's this. It's K. Night with you Crocs. spell it. I'm too it's tired. It's K I C K I N dot dot 
T H E. No. No. <laughs> You're messing it up too. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in, in the description the below. Great thing it's is in the description. Editing. It's in text right here below us right now. It's right there on the screen. Just, just, just it's exactly the same in. as our Instagram, just at Gmail. <laughs> Listen, I once I get my 1%, we'll fix all the spelling issues. <laughs> once I get my 1%. <laughs> Maybe we should do a kicking the clock spelling bee. <laughs> oh, challenge. Was, unfortunately, the oh, host God. will be out in the first round. We would. We'd be gone. Yeah. I just had an idea for a challenge. Oh, perfect. Write it down later. Yeah, we'll write it a down. Kicking the clock spelling bee. Well, yeah. There that you go. being the challenge? Oh, no, 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 no. The challenge is to spell the word out of kicks. Oh, no. Out of kicks. So, like. You have to move your, move leg, your leg in, like, the I shape like of it. the letters. You start with something very oh, simple. Oh, no. Right? That's what I'm saying. Uh, it. And then you get really crazy with it. That's mm. a challenge. Okay. We'll have to put that down for future reference. But anyways, like we were saying, if you guys want to be featured on our Instagram page, you could direct message I've been like redoing the entire thing. You could okay. direct message to us at Kickin' and Crocs. And the link is in the description below. Or you could email us the photo or video, kickin' and crocs at gmail.com. There's some periods in there. Once again, link is in the description. And I think that's where we're going to wrap it up right oh, now because yeah. we're tired. It's, yep, it's wrap up time. So if you haven't already, you can also follow us on TikTok at Kicking and Crocs, same as the Instagram. Oh. Subscribe to us right here on YouTube if you're watching it, or if you're listening to this podcast on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music. Leave us that five star review. Leave us a written review. We haven't gotten any written reviews yet, no, so no. you could be the first one to leave a written review. And when you do, that rhymed. We'll read it here on the podcast, right here. We'll give you a little shout out right there. Our reading's better than our spelling. I our promise. reading is much better on than our positive spelling. reviews. As, on yeah, only positive reviews. <laughs> We're not going to read any negative reviews. Like, who is at Nick the Croc Hater? At? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be spelled correctly. Kelsey, <laughs> Kelsey would just be reading the negative reviews. Oh guys. no! <laughs> should we start like a offshoot Instagram page at Kelsey the Croc Hater? I oh just God. I I should just start one just, of like yeah, just start the face she <laughs> makes every time I buy a pair of Crocs or put on a pair of Crocs. Oh, It'll just man. be like tiles of. You shove the things. phone in her face, be like, "Honey, I just bought this pair of Crocs. What do you I'm think?" Saying. And then it'll be like <laughs> pictures of the pictures of the hate letters she leaves him on the counter. Yep. Uh, all right, I think this. I think I we've think done. That'll it. be good. Well, anyways, I've been a very tired Steve. I'm a mostly tired Dave. And I'm a just fine Nick. And you say kicking, Internet.